What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and I don't know how long this video is going to be, I mean, there's not a lot to talk about, but I mean, at the same time, there's also a lot to talk about. We just had this tweet go up, when was this? Like, okay, 3pm, December 22nd, this is a lot earlier than what we usually get. So this is a, uh, a little teaser as to what we should be expecting for the New Year celebration. Now, I was not expecting to get this today. I was probably uh, expecting to get this a little bit later on. Um, but we have the official announcement of the Legends, it looks like, for the New Year celebration. So... Let's go through what we have here. So the first character that we're going to be looking at, you can see this is actually Zeus, and it's going to be Nami. So Nami and Zeus is going to be, it looks like, one of the Super Sugo Fest characters arriving during the celebration. I mean, to be honest, that doesn't really confirm that it's a Super Sugo unit. This literally could just be a normal legend, and then other characters could be Super Sugo. But Nami and Robert, and look, I've got another video coming out today as well, talking about all of the news that we had, because we had the 12.3 update, we had the news about Uta as well, so definitely stay tuned on the channel for that which, as we give a good discussion as to what's happening in regards to Uta and her super evolution and all of that. But in the 12.3 update, uh, let me actually get the link real quick because uh, I've got it right here. Um, what actually happened is, is there was a couple of icons that were actually put into the game. I also talk about this in the video in, uh, that's going to be coming up later. But there is a paralysis slot that's actually in the game now. And we're wondering what this was for. We can see that the, the next treasure map character is going to be Wiper. So I was expecting it to be treasure map legend Eneru. However... Because of Nami and Zeus, I think it actually makes a lot of sense if the paralysis slot is focusing with Nami and Zeus. I mean, it could be wrong, could definitely still be Eneru, but this is interesting stuff, man. So Nami and Zeus are going to be one of the characters, which is pretty dope. You know, Nami's got some amazing support characters that can attach to her. I don't really know what to expect from this character. I really don't. Um, but... We'll see just the rest of the characters. Maybe we can discuss the batch as a whole once we see the rest of the characters. So skipping along here, the next one, the demon part of me emerges, and you can see that is definitely Robin. And we have the Demonio Fleur Robin is going to be coming during the New Year celebration, which is also super freaking wicked. I made a video um, a couple of days ago talking about your guys' opinions as to what you think the New Year celebration was going to be. A lot of people wanted Robin, and uh, you got your wish. Robin is going to be coming during the New Year celebration. I assume she's going to be a Super Sugo unit, kind of like Nami, but then again, there is another character in this clip that's definitely going to be Super Sugo worthy, but we just don't know about these other two. Uh, are they going to be Super Sugos? Are they not? These characters have never had representation as a Super Sugo FS unit. I guess if you count Luffy in the Straw Hats, then technically. But I think this would be a great opportunity to give these characters, you know, some of the limelight, to give them the, the representation that they deserve. This is epic as hell. So getting a Robin, the Demonio Fleur Robin, as one of the New Year's characters is so, so sick. I can't wait to see the full artworks of these characters. And then we have the big boy. We have Yamato and we have Kaido. So we did get a little bit of a leak of this during the Jump Festa celebration. During the Ichiban Kuji part of the celebration, we did see that there's a whole new line of figurines that are having a collaboration with One Piece Treasure Cruise. This was the headliner um, with, with both Yamato and Kaido and it looks like it's gonna be a dual unit. Now, due to the fact that you have, like, the Haki Clash that does separate the two characters, so many people, I know I'm going to see it everywhere, people are going to say it's a versus unit. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a versus unit, but if we go through the history of how the game has been going, you know, in terms of the Legend releases, it doesn't make a lot of sense for it to be a versus unit. But once again, I would love to be wrong. But then again, you know, we had the, the anniversary stuff, you know, during the year, and we had Ace and Yamato drop. And that unit is busted, you know, when you have that captain ability with all that utility. If we get something similar to that, uh, that would be really, really hype. But at the same time, if it's a versus unit, that would also be kind of interesting to see how they would kind of build around that. Now, when you think about this character releasing now with Yamato and Kaido, like, what what is this character even going to do? I, I don't expect it to be a rainbow captain. Um, I expect it to be definitely focused on strikers. And, I mean, just talking in Rumble, in Pirate Rumble stuff... They have terrible striker support, so I think this would be a really good opportunity to give strikers the support that they deserve. And, I mean, to be honest, you've got, like, Robin, you have Nami, and this character. 
I mean, technically speaking, you could probably make all of them striker characters, like Cerebral Striker for Nami, Cerebral Striker potentially for Robin. You could do Driven Cerebral for Robin. That would be pretty sick as well. And this character, I mean, it could be anything from Free Spirit, Powerhouse, Striker. Uh, I mean, you could have so many different things. And I'm really excited to see the special animations of all these characters. As of right now, this is all we have. It's just a little bit of a tease in terms of the silhouettes of these characters. But this is some really cool stuff. Oh, hang on. We got a we got a really nice little shot there. As you can see, the artwork a little bit more clearly for Kaido and Yamato. Dude, it looks so good. So we don't know the exact start time, I don't think, for, for this. So I'll actually wait till the end of the video here because I haven't actually watched the whole thing. Super Sugar Fest coming soon. That is so cool, dude. Whew. And it looks like that's about it. Yeah, so we don't have any information in terms of when it's going to drop. But I think that it makes a lot of sense. I mean, the last couple of years in terms of the New Year's banners, they usually drop on the 27th of December. I don't know if that's PST time or, or JST time, but around the 27th, give or take a day, right? It should be around that point. So when we get the information regarding what these characters do, of course, we're going to be making multiple videos throughout this New Year's celebration, talking about all the characters, what do they do, who's worth going for, what part of the banner is the best, and of course, we have likely all of the Film Red um, Super Sugo Fest characters coming back into this celebration. So this Sugo Fest is going to be one of the biggest Super Sugo Fests of all time. And the fact that they're debuting, it looks like three Super Sugo units on New Year's is crazy. Because the last few years, we had Roger Odin in 2020. 2021 had Roger Whitebeard and Luffy in the Straw Hats. And if that's the case, it means it's going to be three Super Sugos this time around, which is far bigger than any of the previous uh, Super Sugos that we've had, at least for New Year's, that is. But it also means, like, are, are we going to see Final Tap? Are we going to see Super Tandem? I think it would be really cool if both Robin and Nami had a Super Tandem and, you know, obviously works with the rest of the Straw Hats. That would be really cool to see. I'm expecting this to probably be a Final Tap character. We'll have to wait and see how they kind of go about that. I think Final Tap for this makes a lot of sense. And that's part of the reason why I don't think it would be a versus unit because... We haven't seen, you know, a Super Sugo versus unit. It's hard to really say, but you remember when a character has a final tap and they're a Super Sugo unit, they have a special animation that plays. And if you have a versus unit, it means that you need to have a special animation final tap for Yamato and for Kaido. So I don't know. It, it's, it's really too hard logistically just to think about how they're going to go about this. But this is so cool, dude. I love the fact that we're getting the, the, the Kaido and the Yamato. I know a lot of people are really waiting for the spoiler territory in terms of, you know, the end of Wano. But I think uh, I think we'll get that kind of character maybe anniversary next year. We'll have to wait and see about that. But I mean, a lot of people predicted this. A lot of people thought this was going to be our New Year's celebration. And it's exactly what it was. So I don't think it's a major surprise for people. But I think it's kind of cool either way to look at it. Because, you know, now it's confirmed. These are the characters that we're getting. Now we just have to look forward to what do these characters actually do how are they going to synergize how good are these characters going to be i mean i just want to put it into perspective for you guys when roger and odin first came out they were far and away the best legends in the game the year after roger whitebeard luffy crew far and away the best legends in the game and even to this point a year later they're still widely considered to be like the top two top three best units in the game so now we skip forward here to this new year celebration i am expecting these characters to be absurdly powerful i mean it would it wouldn't really make a lot of sense if they're going to release a new year celebration three super sugo units and these characters are just mid you know it wouldn't make sense so these characters are going to be very very good so i'm excited to see that robin getting the respect she deserves um i think nami is probably the least hyped character out of these three but it's cool that she's getting representation nonetheless so that is going to wrap it up for me let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section about uh, the brand new Super Sugo Fest that is on the horizon, Hybrid Yamato and Kaido, Demonia, Flua, Nico, Robin, and then Nami and Zeus. This is going to be a big one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.